dear. Next up, he's the Hollyoaks bad boy, but is he any good on the ice? He is Chris Fountain. Hi, I'm Chris Fountain, and I play Justin in Hollyoaks. Both my sisters are dead, and you got up and walked away. You are sick. I've played ice hockey before as a hobby in the past, so I'm pretty confident on the ice. I'm not sure I'm going to do when you throw dancing in there. Pistol. But will Chris's skating skills impress Torval and Dean? He's done a little bit of skating before, so let's check this out. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. He's faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Very good. He's got some really good technique going on, and um, yeah, he's a star today. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's those toe rakes, isn't it? I, know. I can't get used to it. What he's not used to are the toe picks on the front of the blade, because hockey blades um, don't have those. And that could let him down, you know, he could be out there performing and get real comfortable and seeing those toe picks come back to haunt you. And four weeks into What's training, Chris is time? still having trouble staying upright. I'm really struggling with my toe picks. I want to get a file out later and just file them off. Oh, like that. And it's not just Chris who's worried about his toe picks. Partner Frankie is too. Hockey skating and figure skating are two completely different disciplines. And so it does frighten me because he does fall over all the time. Oh, of course, now we're trying to do lifts because the pressure's on to get this number right for the first show. And he's still falling in the lifts, which is frightening, really. And land her. Ooh. Chris is a strong skater but he's one of the most likely to fall over on the night, too. Land her. <laughs> Skating to, I bet you look good on the dance floor. Please welcome onto the ice, Chris Fountain and Frankie Pulteney. He's also had ballet lessons. We should have sent him out in a padded tutu. Those are the full 360 degree jumps and then the terrific dance steps and the rotating double stag. Now, the scores Karen, 4.5, Nikki, 4.5, Jason, 3, Ruthie, 3.5, Robin, 4.5. That gives us 20. It's the highest. So, has the fact that you have played ice hockey, do you think, been an advantage for you? I thought it'd be a lot more of an advantage at the start, but, like, obviously I've got the toe picks and it's a completely different sport, but it gave me a little bit of spilly, but it's, now I'm dancing, so a bit different. And welcome, welcome back, Frankie. Are you, you were shaking your head then. No, you don't think it's an advantage? Um, I don't. I mean, ice hockey is a sport that's played on the ice, but there's a lots, of, lots of sports that are played on the ice. Mm. Um, dancing Curly. with a partner... <laughs> curling. <laughs> dancing with a partner to choreography is a completely different discipline. Guys. Yeah, well, yeah, remember, David Seaman was a hockey player as well in our first season. Um, Chris has got great enthusiasm. We've just got to finesse him out now. <laughs> yeah, OK, well, let's see what the judges have to say. Well done. Here you go. 
Thanks, Phil. Well, quite rightly, the best scores of the night. Jason, although still the lowest score from you, what was it about the performance? Well, I, I have to agree with um, Chris on this one. He has exuberant energy. It's very exciting. I mean, for me, it was like, wow, finally the competition has got off to a cracking hey. start. That said, that said, you are what I consider a diamond in the rough. You have no finish. You're very messy. There is absolutely no interpretation right now. And, and there isn't a good connection between you and your phenomenal partner. And I want to see a partnership. Yep. Something to work on. Thank you, Oh, judges. a lot to work on. OK, thank you. Thank you. Well, I don't know, a highlight for me was Nicky's poem. So, I mean, it's it. We're really on the <laughs> up now, aren't we? Where's my poem? Where's his poem he wants <laughs> to know? Poem. Oh, <laughs> if you want to, right. uh, to make a date to see the Hollyoaks heartthrob next week, then uh, you need to pick up the phone and vote for him when the lines open shortly. Chris and Frankie! <laughs> Coming up, Samantha Mamba and Gareth Gates and GMTV's Michael Underwood ends up on the wrong side of the tracks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>